Brock University held its second annual research celebration showcasing the work of the university's researchers. Brock is very committed to a um, program of transdisciplinarity that's basically bringing disciplines together to create a common conversation and uh, to create indeed a common language. This is how it's done. The celebration allows for researchers to display their posters and explain their findings. So we structured this so it looks very, very much like an academic conference. That's what they normally look like. They have posters around a large room, uh, people talking to each other, exchanging ideas. The posters have been up uh, all, all, day, all day long and the idea is the undergraduate students who uh, yeah, have breakfast here, have lunch here, also get to participate uh, in, uh, in the research enterprise. Brock University has partnered up with the Michael G. DeGroote School of Medicine to research and improve health care quality. The program that you're seeing here in my poster is about the iEquip program, which is the Interprofessional Education for Quality Improvement Program, which is a collaboration between McMaster University with the, the School of Medicine and their medical students and with the Department of Health Sciences here at Brock with our undergraduate students. So this program is looking at improving the knowledge and skills and attitudes for health professionals uh, around quality in the healthcare setting. Assistant Professor Madeline Law, along with community partners Tabor Manor, the Niagara Health System, and Hotel Du Shaver, look to teach students about improved health care quality. It's shown that this program has been able to improve the skills and attitudes and behaviors of health professionals and the students that have been engaged in the program. Quality has always been part of the healthcare system. We're, we're always trying to do better and we know that there's a bigger push on this because costs are escalating. So we really want students to understand what is quality and how they can be a partner in improving quality once they become health professionals. Associate Professor Tony Volk's research looks at the role coaches can play in reducing bullying. It was inspired by some work we did in the past where we found that teenage girls who were also athletes had a much bigger risk of being bullied than normal girls. So we wanted to see what kind of things might protect these athletes. So what we actually did is we interviewed the coaches and we asked what they thought about bullying, what they did about bullying with their athletes. And we found out that coaches who were against bullying and told their athletes they were against bullying not only protected their athletes from bullying in sports, but that also protected them at school. We'd like to see maybe some changes in the best practices for coaches because while we found that some coaches were able to protect their athletes, not all coaches were against bullying and not all coaches at least said they had these attitudes. So we want more coaches to be proactive in trying to help their athletes, not just in the sport, but also in their lives outside of sports. CanFlip, a program designed to improve coordination, muscle strength and participation in children with cerebral palsy was the idea of McMaster student Olivia Cook. CanFlip is an artistic gymnastics program uh, specially designed for children with cerebral palsy and other disabilities. Um, it is a very new idea. It's the first time that something like that is uh, actually uh, uh, tried out with uh, this type of uh, uh, musculoskeletal disorders like cerebral palsy. Um, so we are using regular gymnastics activities in a gymnastics environment in incorporated with other kids, typically developed kids, and we try to include uh, activities that uh, the children with the disabilities can actually perform at a comfort level so they're not afraid, they enjoy, and uh, they feel that they can achieve something important. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.